Okay, so let's talk about Furiosa, the next film in George Miller's Mad Max saga, and we are definitely super excited for this one. After that first tease and all of that, this is definitely going to be one of those films that we're going to be looking out for this year. This might premiere at Cannes. That's apparently like the big rumor and all of that. I can definitely see this going to Cannes, and I'm excited to see the reception it gets. I mean, Mad Max Fury Road was definitely one of those films that I think none of us really saw coming as being that big cultural impact that it had when it came out i know the mad max uh movies have been very popular back in the day and of course some of them may be hit some of them may be missed but i think with fury road george miller really showed us that he can not only do dancing penguins but he can come back to what made him pretty popular and do it that much better and i think mad max fury road is definitely the best film in the mad max saga now furiosa comes and it's going to tell the story of one of the characters Furiosa, who was played by Charlize Theron in the original, well, I'm talking about original, but it was in the Fury Road film, um, who played Furiosa. Now we're going to see Anya Taylor-Joy take on that role 15 years prior, I believe, and we see her whole, like, arc of being taken from this place where she was from and now being in this gang of bikers that is led by i believe somebody called dementis who was played by chris hensworth so let's read the synopsis for furiosa as the world falls young furiosa is snatched from the green place of many mothers and into the hands of a biker horde led by warlord dementis while two tyrants war for dominance over the citadel Furiosa survives many trials as she plots a way back home through the wasteland. So we pretty much know now that this film is taking place prior to that uh, events in Fury Road. However, George Miller did say that Mad Max might actually be somewhere around, of course, played by Tom Hardy in Fury Road. So we'll definitely see if we get a glimpse of Mad Max or maybe a little drop of a name here and there. But definitely excited to see a little bit of a cameo from Tom Hardy if that is the case. So we have some quotes here from Miller during an uh, interview with Empire, I believe, where he gives us a little bit more insight about what to expect, what's coming, and all of that. So let's read this here where it says, The story is a saga of Furiosa and how she gets taken from home and spends the rest of her life trying to get back. So this is coming from the exclusive Furiosa cover feature for Empire. He also goes on to say, In Fury Road, the story unfolds over three days and two nights. This film follows a story that runs directly into Fury Road for 15 years. It's got many different locations. It's an odyssey, no question. So apparently this was actually penned while he was working on Fury Road. And the screenplay actually came and was a hit with uh, Charlize Theron. And apparently this is what she said to Miller. She said, please, George, can we make this first? It was the first time I realized that there's something really strong in this story. And apparently uh, Charlize Theron gave the blessing to Anya Taylor-Joy. And Anya Taylor-Joy said, she's been so classy and kind and letting me go and do it. But I feel very lucky that from the second I read the script, I just knew this person. I felt so fiercely protective over Furiosa, fiercely protective of her interests. So pretty much that's all we have so far for the film from that empire. We're probably going to be getting some more um, interviews and things like that as we run up for this release of this film, which I am excited for, but really excited for that. Really wondering if we'll see Charlize Theron in any shape, way, or form for this film. They are saying it's 15-year saga into what uh, comes in Mad Max Fury Road. I thought that was interesting considering the fact that uh, Mad Max Fury Road just takes place in a couple of days, that this is actually actually going to be years long uh, worth of material so we'll see how that is actually um, played out I don't want to see another trailer I feel because I remember at Fear Road I wasn't really looking at the trailers I just saw the first one and I was already like we're seeing that opening night saw it opening night and really loved that experience of not knowing what I was about to get so with this one I'm excited to see I really think that uh, Dementis is going to be one of those characters that we're just we're, we're going to be like yes that is a character that George Miller could only make. And I'm excited to see how this movie fares. Like I said, we don't have a uh, premiere date for it just yet at a festival. I'm very curious to see if it does premiere at Cannes. I really think that it just has that sort of allure for that. South by Southwest? I don't think so. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited nonetheless. This is coming to us from the Empire magazine that will be coming out in May for it. So we can expect to hear some more things as we get closer to those dates. I believe this is going to be one of the big blockbusters of the year. And in a 
year where we just started off the year with Dune. I'm excited as to what this year is going to hold when it comes to blockbusters. It's looking a lot brighter, especially in the last couple of years. I think that the blockbusters have been sort of duds, but I feel like we're seeing sort of like audience switching to what they want to see. And that's always the case. It's always a rotation. I think the superheroes are definitely taking a little bit of a break. I don't see them going away never but i do see them going a little bit down under for a bit and they got to get their things straight over there they got to get their things straight over there but i'm excited to see these epic desert blockbusters that's what it seems where we're going are we going back to the orange and blues i feel like that's what exactly this feels like and i'll talk more about that in another video because i want to discuss about that but excited for this and let me know what you think about furiosa mad max saga with anya taylor joy as well as chris hensworth and george miller returning to wreck havoc on the big screen excited about it but yeah anyways go check out my other videos we are preparing for south by southwest we got a ton of coverage coming to you and if you want to be up to date with all of that coverage you have to follow us on twitter tiktok and instagram that's where we probably post quicker our website as well www.culturalixer.com we got a ton of articles over there um, all the news that you need at right at, there at your fingertips you can check it out on our your mobile device or on the computer wherever you want i think it's mobile friendly so anyways let me know about furiosa let me know what you're most excited for about this film what do you think we're going to be seeing where is mad max going to show up will it just be a quick glimpse at the end or maybe at the beginning or somewhere in the middle or maybe just a name drop who knows? But let me know what you think about it in the comments down below and if you're going to be watching Furiosa in theaters or not. And if you enjoyed Fury Roll when it came out. But as always, that's going to do it for me. I'll see all of you next time on the road to 30,000 subscribers. Let's get to it. Stay safe. Stay positive.